Mm -hmm. Welcome. I'm E.G. Marshall. Every man who is not born with a silver spoon in his mouth, said Miguel de Cervantes, to which it may be added that even if all of us were, most of the spoons would soon wind up in the hands or the mouths of a very small select group, which gives rise to the observation, it's not how you begin, but how you end. This is a proposition that is so universally self-evident. Why does it have to be repeated over and over again? Hold it right there. Oh, 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 oh. What's the trouble, sir? Try to find that wheel. Very slow and careful. But, uh, but what did I do? You know what you did. You stole a hundred thousand dollar payroll. Me? Oh, 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 no. Uh, there must be some mistake. Yeah. That's what they all say. But, but, but I'm innocent. Tell it to the judge. Our mystery drama, Olive Darling and Morton Deer, was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Sam Dan and stars Fred Gwynn. There are those people you never see. Oh, they take up space. They have shape and form. But somehow, they simply don't register. They serve you in restaurants. They wait on you behind counters. They perform the thousand and one tasks required by our society. But an hour or even five minutes after you've spoken to them, you'd be hard put to describe them. I suppose they're just part of the background of life. And one of these people is Morton Miller. Of course... His wife notices him. Morton, dear, I'm home. Oh, yes. Hello, Olive, darling. Uh, I have dinner all ready for us. Oh, Morton, dear, you shouldn't have. No, I didn't want you to have to fuss after a long, hard day at the office. Aren't you going to tell me? Uh, uh, tell you what? What the doctor said. Oh, uh, what the doctor said. Uh, he said I would have to leave my job. Hmm. Well, we were half expecting that. Yes, but uh, but to hear it as a verdict. <laughs> That's what he said. I, I could no longer spend my days cooped up in an office hunched over a desk. Oh. And so I said, uh, if you have to audit books and accounts and so forth, you have to sit hunched up over a desk. I asked him what I was supposed to do. <laughs> uh, uh, start to death. Oh, Morton, dear. Uh, no, he said. Uh, I would just have to change my lifestyle. And so you shall, Morton, dear, and so you shall. Uh, 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 do you know what else he said, Olive Darling? Hmm. Uh, he said I would have to spend more time outdoors. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm not equipped for any outdoor work uh, that I know of. But there will have to be a change in your lifestyle. And perhaps it'll be one that's very much in keeping with the times. Oh, 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 what do you mean? These days, it's, it's not unusual any longer for the wife to work while the husband takes care of the home. Well, then, is there any reason why I shouldn't work while you run the house? Oh, uh, yes. Well, what is it? Oh, uh, uh, you don't make enough money. Oh, we'll get by. Well, now, what else did the doctor say? Uh, he, he said I have to get away. Oh? Uh, to the mountains. I simply have to start breathing pure air to get my lungs clean. Oh, well, when, when did he say you had to go? Oh, the sooner the better. And to stay for at least a month. A month? Oh, I, I can't take that much time off. Oh, I certainly have no intention of going anywhere alone. Well, if Dr. Marcus said you had to go, that's all there is to it. But, Olive, darling... Please listen, Norton, dear. Your health is more important than anything else. To leave you uh, uh, for a month? If it has to be. Do you realize we've been married 20 years, Olive Darling, and we've never spent a day apart from each other? Yes, Morton, dear. But there will have to be some changes. Uh, I can get plenty of fresh air in the park. No. No, if the doctor says you need a month of the mountains, then that's where you're going. Oh, oh where did Dr. Marcus suggest that you go? The further away you get from civilization, the cleaner the air, and uh, 
Also, the, the cheaper the accommodations. Oh, Morton, dear, you're not to worry about money. But, Olive, darling, I, I know how money works. It's my business. I know we have very little. Um, I was hoping to go up to some town, uh, or, or, or better, some small village, and uh, uh, get a job. A job? Well, maybe I could do somebody's books, or... Or something. But you'll be working in an office again. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I, I sit under a tree on a mountaintop. You are not going away to work, but to rest. Now, promise me you won't worry about money. Promise. All right. I, I won't worry about money. Oh, good. Now, now, we'll spend the night packing, and you're going to get into the car and leave tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, Olive, darling. Tomorrow morning, Morton, dear. Oh, darling. Oh, Morton, dear. How are you? I'm fine. Where are you? Uh, I'm either in uh, Colorado or Wyoming. I'm I'm not sure. Well, have you found a place to stay? Uh, no. I better go on a bit further. Where? Well, a fellow was telling me about a little village called Council Forks, uh, about 50 miles further up in the mountains. Uh, sounds first rate. I'll, I'll try to get there before dark. Oh, 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 I will. Is, is everything all right? Of course. Well, I'd better start driving. We may be in for some rain. Uh, uh, I'll call you later. Uh, uh, goodbye, Olive, darling. Goodbye, Morton, dear. Uh, is, is, is something the matter, Sheriff? Can I see your license and registration, please? Oh, certainly. Uh, I wasn't speeding that I know of. Just hand them over. Uh, 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 but what's wrong? Let's see. Uh, this one's name is Morton Miller. He's from Terre Haute, Indiana. Bobby, see if his license plates read 67892, like it says here. Joe, check it against the stolen sheet. Well, now, Mr. Miller... What you doing out here in the middle of no place in this absolutely hellacious rainstorm? I, uh, I, uh, I'm bound for a town called, um, uh, somebody said it was called, uh, uh, Council Forks. Is that a fact? Why would anybody want to go to Council Forks? Uh, I was told the air up there is very good. And is that true? Well, Mr. Miller, be advised you're very well covered from four sides. Uh... Uh, uh, covered. Now, uh, you please step out of the car. But, uh, but it's raining. Oh, well, you've got mighty good powers of observation, Mr. Miller. Let's say that for you. Now, face the car. Uh, Lay your hands against it. But, uh, All right, he's clean. Check out the inside and the back seat, Bobby. But, but, but what are you looking for? Any other key to your trunk, sir? I wish you would tell me what, what. What you got in the trunk there? Uh, uh, just some clothes and some, uh, uh, camping equipment. What for? I told you, I'm coming up here for the air. It's, it's doctor's orders. Oh, yeah, Bobby, that does look like a bunch of camping stuff. Never mind messing it up. Okay, sir, you can get back in your car. Oh, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, do you mind telling me what this is all about? A fellow robbed the payroll. Oh? Got away with over a hundred thousand. You got reason to believe he's headed this way. Now be careful. He's armed with a big forty-five caliber pistol. And he looks like he knows how to use it. Oh my goodness! I I hope no one was killed. There's going to be a pretty big reward out for this, huh? A uh, reward? Yeah. But unless you can handle a gun, don't get any big ideas. Oh, oh me? No, 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 no! I would never. Now, if you want to get to Council Forks, remember to take the second left. If you miss it, you might just wander around lost in these mountains for the next 40 years. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the next left. No, no. The second left. Oh, 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 yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Put up your hands. Oh, oh, oh. I look at your hands. Okay. What do you want? I I really want to put my hands down. 
Uh, uh, because the rain's running down in, in my sleeves. I got you covered from the window. There's a big forty-five aimed at your heart. Uh, no, no. The door is good. unlocked. Move forward. Turn the knob. Do everything slowly. That's it. Open the door. Step inside. Don't do anything quickly or abruptly. That's fine. Now close the door. Uh, look. Step inside. Uh, look, all I want to do is uh, uh, take off your hat. Drop it on the floor. Uh, please, if, and if, if, if you take if, off if, your if, raincoat. Oh, I'd really like to do that. It's uh, stopping wet. Uh, do it slowly, just like everything else. Now, what are you supposed to be doing here? Uh, uh, doing? Uh, uh, doing? Uh, 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 me? I, oh, oh, I, I just came up for a rest. A rest, huh? Um, uh, excuse me, how, how, how long are you going to point that gun at me? That depends. Oh, uh, on uh, what? On things. I see. Uh, any, uh, 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 particular kind of things? I'm a writer. Huh, a, a writer? Books, novels. Really? Uh, uh, what's your name? Smith. Smith? Elton P. Smith. Hmm, I, I never heard of you. That's because it's not my name. But you just said... It is my name, my real name, but it's not the name I write under. Oh, I see. Uh, 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 what, what name do you write under? Is that important? Well, I, I have a lot of trouble finding privacy. Understand? Well, yes. If anyone knew I was up here, why the places be jam-packed with newspaper men, TV crews? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I wish you'd stop pointing that gun. Now, they get in my hair, I wouldn't be able to write as much as one single solitary word. Oh, sure, sure. Now, when you say we're headed toward Council Forks? Yes, toward Council Forks. What were you planning to do then? I uh, thought I'd look for a job. A job? Uh, 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 just for a couple of weeks. A job doing what? Oh, almost anything. What's your line of work? I- I'm a cost analyst. Oh, Fan, I wouldn't think there's much call for that in Council Forks. Well, I, uh... I, I, I also know how to cook. Cook? Yes. I, I, I'm a splendid amateur chef. You know something? I'm stunned. Oh? Some old lady was supposed to come up and keep house, but she never showed up. Now, how'd you like to stay here and cook? Uh, oh, oh, I don't... I got a whole bunch of stuff in the freezer, but I don't know how to boil water, and I'm starving to death. Oh, yes, but... but... Uh, but you see, I'm, I'm really not interested in cooking. Um, so maybe if I could get my car started... You're not going anywhere. Oh, uh, oh, what did you say? I said, you're not going anywhere. Put yourself in poor Morton Miller's position. He's looking into the barrel of a forty-five caliber pistol. You can look at the muzzle of that gun and see your whole life dance by in review. But when the man who is holding that pistol calmly announces that you're not going anywhere, you know something? He's right. I'll be back with Act Two shortly. the cradle is the hand that rules the world. The gentleman who made that remark should be forgiven. He was, after all, a poet. The hero of our story, Mr. Morton Miller, is right now looking at a hand which is not rocking a cradle. It is holding a 45 caliber. And that hand, while it may not rule the world, is certainly going to rule Mr. Morton Miller. Uh, 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 what do you mean I'm not uh, going anywhere? You're not... Uh, you mean you're going to use that gun uh, uh, to keep me here? <laughs> the rain's going to keep you here. The storm. Even if we're to stop this minute and clear up, the roads are all washed out. Oh, you'll be here for a while. Uh, look, I uh, I would like... Uh, uh, yes? Well, my wife is, is, is sure to be worried. I, I'd like to call her. Your wife? Uh, yes. I don't have a phone. I wouldn't want one. You wouldn't? 
I'd never get any of my work done. You know how people are, always pestering writers, talking about work. How about making us some dinner? <laughs> Of a job. I'll tell you something. You don't look like a chef. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not really a chef. You I, know what uh, you look like? Um, uh, no. You look like a cop. Uh, a, a cop? A federal cop. I, I do. You know why? Because you don't look like anybody. Federal cops, as a rule, have the kind of faces you just don't seem to be able to remember. Oh, uh, believe me, I'm not a police officer. I, I, I assure you. <laughs> Why should you want to assure me? Uh, uh, no, no reason. I believe I'll try another rare slice of that roast. Mm. Oh, by all means. Hey, 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 hey. Let me have the knife. Very sharp. Oh, oh so, uh, certainly. Uh, here. Sorry, shoot, please? Uh, no, I'm not hungry. Mm-hmm. Let's listen to the news, hmm? Uh... The news? No, it's just about 8 o'clock. Radio's right in back of you. Turn it on, huh? Oh, uh, uh, surely. Daring and dangerous bandit who escaped with well over $100,000 of the tip-top Tolliver Company payroll is believed headed this way. The Alvarado Mountain area is a fantastic place to hide out from the law. These woods and hills abound in natural hiding. Sheriff Armand Pendleton asks all citizens to report any suspicious-looking person. It is reported that ladies' skirts will be somewhat shorter this year. You care? Uh, 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 do I care about According that? According to news from New York... skirts are going to be shorter this year? Oh, uh, uh, no, we'll no, turn it on. So, there's a bank robber running around loose, hmm? Uh, is there? Well, just on the news, isn't you hear? Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, well, I, I wasn't really listening. You mean you didn't hear what the announcer said? Uh, I only listen to that kind of story with, uh, uh, half an ear. Half an ear. That's very interesting. Uh, well, there's, there's so much of it. I, uh, I mean, uh, violence of, of one kind or another. Is that so? And uh, this fellow who robbed the tip-top Tolliver Corporation, uh, uh, he didn't kill anybody. No, he didn't. Well... I don't know about you, but I'm ready to turn in. Oh, uh, look, maybe I might be able to get my car started after all. Well, you forget you've taken a job here. I have? Why, certainly. You're my cook. I beg your pardon, chef. Well, uh, look at how nice and easy it is, huh? Just the cook for the two of us. But I was uh, thinking... Your room is at the top of the stairs. Very nice, large, airy room, private bath. But I really... I'm should... doing this for your good, you know. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. But uh, you're welcome. Now, let's not say any more about it. Mm-hmm. That smells delicious. Oh, it's just bacon eggs. Just bacon and eggs. <laughs> When they're prepared by a master chef. Oh, but I'm not a. I'm not look a... at you. Look at you. The clothes are wet. Well, they uh, uh, they're still wet from last night. Ah, uh, uh, that's more recently. How that happened? I um, you uh, were thinking of leaving. I guess the rain was too much for you. Huh? No, I just went to my car to uh, uh, to get some dry clothes. Is that what you did? Yes. Then why didn't you put them on? Uh, I uh, thought I'd make breakfast first. <laughs> Here's a man who's not only an expert at his job, he's also devoted to his duty. <laughs> why don't you uh, switch on the radio? We can hear the news. There's still no word on the man who robbed the tip-top Tolliver Corporation, except that police are positive he is headed for the Alvarado Mountains. As a matter of fact, he may very well be there now. The bandit is polite and well-spoken. And that's really all we know about him, except that he stole $109,000. Timothy Tolliver, Jr., president of the corporation, has announced a $10,000 reward for the apprehension of the criminal, dead or alive. On a less 
Listen now. Listen now. What do you think of that? A $10,000 reward. Uh, uh, for whom? For the fellow who robbed the tip-top Conover kind of Corporation. Oh. A man could be tempted. Uh, tempted, uh, to do what? Turn this fellow in. Oh. Well, uh, first he would have to find the robber, uh, wouldn't he? <laughs> yes, I suppose he would. I, I wouldn't want that kind of money. You mean you don't need $10,000? Well, maybe I do need it, but I certainly don't want it. I don't approve of that, uh, uh, kind of thing. What kind of thing? Uh, you know, being, um, I suppose you'd call it, uh, uh, uh being an informer. I see. Now, uh, you take that robber. They say he's headed for the Alvarado Mountains, and, uh, uh, uh that makes sense. Yeah? He, he could have found himself somebody's old summer house. Uh, nobody comes here till after the spring rains. So he has at least uh, six weeks or a month to uh, lay, uh, 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 that is, uh, to lie uh, low. Go on. And uh, even if someone happens along, he can say that he's a writer who needs privacy. Uh, except. Except what? Uh, except I uh, don't see any typewriter. You don't. Well, not all writers use them, you know. Oh. Me, I like to write with a pen, a long yellow pen. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Um, but uh, uh, about that robber. Yes? Uh, well, I want to say uh, he wouldn't have anything to fear from me. He wouldn't? Uh, uh, no, sir. Uh, all I know is that I was lost in these mountains. I was sopping wet. I was tired and cold and hungry. And I'm not supposed to let things get that way because my health isn't too good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. And this uh, 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 person, he invited me in. Now, 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 hold it, hold it, Dave. You mean to imply that I'm the... Oh, no, 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 Mr. Smith. Absolutely not. All right, then, what are you saying? I'm I'm saying if you were the robber, uh, 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 if, uh, uh, that that tiny little two-letter word, uh, if, it, it, it covers a wide territory. But don't uh, push it too far. Uh, uh, if you were the robber, it, it would mean nothing to me. Is that so? Uh, uh, absolutely so. Uh, uh, to me, you are the kind human being who gave me shelter from the storm, food and drink, and even a job. Uh, uh, no, sir. You, you could trust me. Yeah. Supposing I were the robber, why should I do that? Uh, why? Why? That's another important little word, just like uh, if. I have, you see, this forty-five caliber pistol here. I, 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 I see it. Why should not put a slug through you? Uh, 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 because. Because why? You better think fast. If I were this robber, I'd realize there's a reward on my head. Why take chances? One bullet, and it's over. And I could toss your body out over the cliff where it wouldn't be found in oh, 100 years. If I were the robber, why shouldn't I do that? Uh, because that's not the kind of man you are. How do you know what kind of man I am? Well, uh, maybe you're a robber, uh, but you're not a murderer. I know human nature. Uh, I, I know you wouldn't shoot a man in cold blood. Is that a fact? Yes, it, it, it is, and I'll bet my life on it. Say, is there any more of that uh, great bacon and those pancakes? Oh, oh, sure. Oh, all you want. What's for dinner? Uh, uh, there's some beef bourguignon. Beef bourguignon? That sounds terrific. You know something? If I were this robber, I don't think I would shoot you. I, I, I know that. Not for a while, anyway. You cooked the best food I ever ate in my life. Uh, uh, good morning, Mrs. Smith. Good morning. You're up early? I don't sleep much. Hard at all. I see. What do you see? Oh, 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 oh it's just a figure of speech, actually. I, I, I don't see it all. It, 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 it's just... 
uh, that we say things uh, 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 to pass the time. Ah, uh huh. I was uh, thinking of taking a drive in town. Oh, will really? you? Is there any reason why I shouldn't? Oh, no, 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 not at all. I, I want to call my wife. And there's a special herd that goes around this part of the country, and I thought I'd pick it up in one of the stores. Really? Oh, you should see what it does to taste of meat. Well, then, by all means, we should have some. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, would you want to drive in town with me? Ah, uh, no. I've got a deadline on a book, and I must spend the day writing. Uh-huh. Is there anything you want me to pick up for you? No, thanks. I can't think of a thing. Okay, then uh, I'd better get in the car. Have a nice trip. Well, thank you. Is something wrong? I don't know. I, 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 I can't seem to make anything happen. What do you mean? Uh, well, I turn the key and the starter doesn't... It, 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 it's dead? Try again. Hmm. That's just what I'm doing. Well, that's right. Let me open the hood and take a look. I, I, I have a brand new battery, and, and I just had a tune-up. Oh, what, oh, uh, what, what uh, I... I found the problem. Oh, what is it? Tim, take a look. At what? You see the top of your distributor cap? It looks like a hairline fracture. Oh, uh, what does that mean? It means you can't get in the cart. It was perfectly all right when I got here. Of course. Had to be. I see. That, that crack happened. How, how did that happen? Sometimes it just breaks under the shock of very high voltage. You know the force that's required to start that engine? Mm-hmm. Uh, could, it, uh, could it have been broken? Been broken? How? Well, someone could have given it a sharp blow with a hammer or, 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 or something. That's, that's possible, isn't it? Now, why would anyone want to do a thing like that? Why? You tell us. A very subtle gentleman with Mr. Elton P. Smith, or whatever his name is. So far, everything has been smooth, calm, and polite. A conference with our automobile mechanic yields the information that distributor caps can crack of their own accord. On the other hand, somewhere on those premises, there just might be over $100,000 plus a $10,000 reward. I'll return shortly with the third act. We tend to think of payroll robbers as cutthroat bandits and murderous desperados. I'm sure many, if not the majority of them are. However, sometimes to come across a crook He's just like anybody else. He really doesn't like to kill people. And all in all, he may be a very reasonable person. This doesn't excuse him. It just adds to the infinite variety of the human race. Two members of the human race are discussing matters high on a Colorado mountaintop. I'm sorry, she's cracked on you. Well, how, how, how could something like that happen? You know, Miss Noah, I just referred to her to the camp as a shield. All of a sudden. We don't do that. Return the pieces of machinery as sheep. You how can I fix a thing like that? You suppose it has anything to do with sex? Maybe I could take a walk. A walk? Uh, maybe, maybe I could find some of those herds I was telling you about. Uh, uh, they go wild here, yeah, I believe. Well, I don't know if I should let you risk it. Uh, oh, oh, what, oh, what am I risking? Your neck, for one thing. Oh, uh, sure. It's a rough country. Very steep. You could fall and break an ankle. Another thing, this is Copperhead country. Uh, Copperhead? Oh, yeah. Place just keens with them. They're more deadly than rattlers, you know. Mm. Mm. I don't mean repose more deadly. It's about the same. But at least a rattler might warn you. A Copperhead won't. No, sir. The fact is, you never see a Copperhead. He just lies there, blends into the ground, you pass by, and zip. That's it. You brought it. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm sure I'd be extra careful. I'm only saying it's so off your own good, you know. Hmm. Uh, 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 let's suppose that you were that payroll bandit. Uh, uh, there are two reasons why I would never turn you in. Tell me about them. Uh, uh, first, I'm not an informer. Uh, I, I think you have to be born with a little streak of that in you. What's the second reason? 
Uh, it has to do with the tip top Taliban Corporation. The place you, uh, 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 I mean, uh, the place the robber held out. Well, what about the tip top Taliban Corporation? No, I personally have no use for Timothy Collifer Jr. Oh, really? Just under him? Oh, no, he's, he's a millionaire. How, how would I get to know him? Tell me what everybody knows to him. Everybody knows his ethics are questionable. Are oh, they? <laughs> he's pulled off some very shady deals. He's taken advantage of people who trust him. Um, so, you see, I can't feel badly about his being robbed. You still shouldn't venture too far. It is dangerous, you know. Oh, I'll be very careful. I just want to find some of those herbs. Hmm, let's see. The main road should be... If I keep on working in this direction, maybe I... Maybe I can come across it. Fellow you're staying with. 
You have to tell us because if you don't, you become an accessory. You're asking me to become an informer. I'm asking you to do your duty as a law-abiding citizen. No. No. This man shared his home with me, uh, as his food and his trust. And I promised him. You promised him? I don't want to forget you said that. That gets you right into jail. I, I gave him my word. It was illegal. Uh, as a reward. Uh, blood money. I, I won't take it. You don't have to. But there's one thing you have to do. Lead us to where this man is hiding. I don't know if... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I can. Now, just remember. It's your law. It's your country. It's your job to protect it. Yes, uh, but I still can't... How'd you like to sit in jail for a while? I can arrest you on suspicion. Uh, you're right, huh? Reason, justice, and uh, everything's on your side. Where do you stand? The name on the door says, uh, Maltby. Maltby? The old Maltby house. Now, I, I don't want a reward. When you go after him, just make sure you bring a new distributor cap for my car. That's all you want? That's all I want. I, I don't want to have to face him. You'll have to. If he puts up a fight, somebody might get killed. You go back and kind of distract his attention. But, but, but... Uh, uh, but, of course, we could all be mistaken. Uh, uh, she might not be the man. Now, nah, you don't really believe that, do you? Make sure you keep him busy. Get him into an argument or a game of chess or a game of cards. Can I depend on you? Yes. You can depend on me. Well, uh, uh, I've been going over our assets, 
And, Olive Darling, hmm? we may have quite enough when we retire, after all. Oh, I have all the confidence in the world in you, Morton, dear. Thank you, Olive. Uh, uh, darling. Chalk one up for the plain people of this world. Not that we necessarily approve of Morton Deer's methods. I'm sure there are those of you who feel that he did not receive his just desserts. But of course, in the banquet of life, so many of us don't receive a full portion of our feet, appetizer, and main course either. And now, a preview of our next tale. Oh, oh. Brief, says Crow. Oh, get it away! Oh. It was on the windowsill. Keep it out! Keep it out! It's all right, it's gone. Oh, well, where is it now? It, it flew off into the pine trees. Oh, oh, that was such a shock. That's what was looking at it. Oh, oh gosh. I, I guess it has the run of the place. We're the intruders to him. I don't know. Oh. There was something about the way that bird looked at us when we drove in. Do you remember? Sitting on the pillars? Yeah. That's no ordinary bird. Crows don't react this way to people. What do you mean, Marty? That crow didn't land on our windowsill by accident. I told you yesterday when we drove up, I didn't want to stay. I couldn't put my finger on it. But there's evil here. Real evil. This is E.G. Marshall inviting you to return to our mystery theater for another adventure in the macabre. Until next time, pleasant dreams.